so in this video i'm going to discuss a little bit on the dimension right so uh, just consider that this is the total uh, these are the total components of our pcb right so we have to <coughs> consider our di dimension <coughs> dimension sorry dimension dimension considering all the components right so in that case uh, just take uh, i have to take the dimension tool and just for the little bit rough estimation uh, i am just measuring the components uh, total components and this is not a perfect way but you can okay i think there is close to <coughs> 85 and the width of the dimension is close to uh, 60 okay 50 so uh, so for for me uh, for my design so i will take uh, 90 by uh, 50 uh, 90 is length 50 is width of the dimension so let's uh, make this board 90 by 50 right so for making this board 90 by 50 i have to change the uh, length and width of the board for doing this i'm just i need to select the move tool right so i have selected a move tool but this way you cannot make your uh, board dimension perfect uh, round figure uh, think about 90 or 50 because there are fractional value in this way so what you have to do you can do that easily using the grid tool so uh, in the case of PCB, you have to change your grid value and you have to also display your grid frequently because you have to control your component precisely, right? So that's why I am just turning on my grid display on and I am selecting the grid size uh, one grid to another is uh, around 5 millimeter because this way I can control uh, because my dimension is 50 by 90, right? So 50 by 90 is uh, almost the multiple of uh, five so you have to make your grid size such a way that you can control your um, dimension or anything any measurement well precisely that's why i'm just selecting five i can also select a uh, 10 uh, 10 is also good for my design i mean for my board spec so yeah now i can control my uh, dimension easily and this way i can just uh, control my dimension in a round uh, in a round figure right okay see that all the um, all the value of the dimension is snapping on a uh, just a uh, line of a grid right so i have to make this uh, with around 50 right i think this is 50 and in this side i have to make this 90 okay perfect now i am <coughs> good to go with my dimension and after that i will place my components so i, I think that's all for my this video in from the next video i will place the components just think about that while you are placing component first thing you have to do is to you have to place the sensitive or or uh, sensitive or uh, what i should call this you have to place the uh, important component first the component who are sensitive to noise the component which you have to place because of you have a uh, constraint to your connection so first you have to place the um, critical component right so we will call this a critical component and after that you have to place the non-critical component so for our design the critical component is microcontroller and crystal and the connection unit the sensor connection unit and the power supply connection unit so we will place all this component first and after the placing critical component we will place the non-critical component okay we will think that way so think about that this is the board and this is the top uh, top front uh, top front of your board or this is the top or uh, front side of your board so you will connect all the sensors and power supply through this side right that means you have to place all of the um, uh, analog sensor com uh, sensor connector and as well as the um, power supply connector through this side okay and for the this is the mic main microcontroller you have to place your crystal and crystal capacitor close to microcontroller because uh, just remember that crystal is a um, crystal generate your microcontroller crystal is just like a heartbeat of your microcontroller right so so you have to place this um, close to microcontroller so that the, the pulse will generated by crystal so that the pulse will not get noisy because of your um, trace length is um, just trace length is so long so this way we have to think this way to make our uh, design perfect right so from the next video i will show you how you can place your components so for first i will show you how you will place your critical component after that i will show you how you place your non-critical component um don't forget to subscribe my channel and also put your comment if you have if you have faced any problem during designing your pcb and just don't uh, forget to uh, support me on patreon and if you like to support me or you like to buy me a coffee just um, buy me a coffee using the coffee link right thank you very much